Hi foodies, how are you doing today? We're making some sorrel drink today. It's a Christmas favorite and I know a lot of people love eggnog, but sorrel is my favorite thing to have at Christmas time. And everybody has their way of flavoring it. I like to use these spices in there, for example, the cloves, but you have to know how to use them perfectly. Don't use too much because then the sorrel it's gonna be so overwhelmed with all of those spices sorrel has such a nice flavor on its own so use these in moderation especially if it's your first time making this now one of the main things that us jamaicans look for when we're having sorrel is that ginger that kick of ginger we love to have ginger in the sorrel it's just perfect with it um you can use a lot or you can use you know a little bit it's up to you but please don't leave it out it makes it so tasty now you know we can't leave out the spirits right we have to have our white overproof rum use jamaican brands because you're making jamaican sorrel okay and we have some red label wine as well now i understand if you're somewhere where you can't find these you might have to substitute but if you have these please use them okay Sometimes I add Stone's ginger wine too, but you know, very rarely. And then of course, the sorrel. So usually I'd get some from Jamaica. That's not happening. So I just bought some at the supermarket and this is what it looked like. You can get it at the West Indian store or Caribbean store um, in your neighborhood. And I think there are some people that ship this as well. Okay, so you get your dry sorrel. You can use fresh if you have it, but I have dry sorrel. And I have some water here and I'm adding the ginger. The ginger can be beaten with a mallet or you could even grate it. And then I'm going to be adding the other ingredients. Okay, sometimes when you grate the ginger, it, you know, you get a stronger flavor, but you can do it either way. What we're gonna do is just simmer this for a little or you know bring it up to a boil for a little while so that some of the flavors can be released in the pot and you'll see the color change then add that sorrel and stir it around and then turn off the heat so after stirring in the sorrel for maybe a minute or so turn off the heat and what we do is we allow this to steep so a number of hours like six or eight hours is good but overnight like 24 hours even you know a little longer is awesome let it steep in the liquid and if you want a really strong sorrel then you know that you can watch the color and you can decide whether you want to add more water or leave it as it is now when i'm doing this if at any point i feel like i don't have enough ginger i just add some grated ginger it's pretty simple right because remember i have the chunks see the chunks of ginger usually if i don't get that strong aroma you know of the ginger hitting my nose then i know like you know what i need to add more ginger so the next day guys simply strain the sorrel that's it okay look for the finest strainer that you have and just strain it now at this point is where we add some lime juice and the alcohol and we sweeten okay so i'm using freshly squeezed lime juice i prefer fresh so i just use my little juicer and that's what i add now remember sorrel is naturally tangy so you don't need to overdo it with the lemon or the lime and then i like to use some brown sugar just because it adds some darkness to the sorrel you know we like to see the sorrel nice and rich however i sometimes add a little white sugar too because it's you know it just gives me that sweetness faster than the brown sugar so use whatever you like or use both okay and then you want to add it a little at a time and keep tasting it and then the alcohol now this is up to you i'll let you know what i do but what i do is i add a little at a time you don't want to dump everything in there because 
sometimes people add so much alcohol the sorrel does not have that nice taste anymore it just tastes like alcohol with a touch of sorrel if you like that fine but i love the taste of the sorrel itself so i try not to overdo it with the alcohol remember if you have stones ginger wine you can add it at this point as well i try not to leave out my son i do a batch without alcohol so he can enjoy it so please don't leave out those people that don't want alcohol guys everybody should be able to enjoy the sorrel right it's so delicious so make sure you taste it and go along and if you feel like you need to add more alcohol you add more okay Now, growing up, when we were storing the sorrel in the fridge, we used to just use the same rum bottle or a red label bottle. We didn't go out and buy bottles, right? And this is perfect because it's so skinny, so it fits in the fridge perfectly, okay? But if you want to go, you know, and buy a bottle, you know, maybe they're foreign now, so, you know, maybe behave like foreigner and buy some bottles. <laughs> so, <laughs> so I have these bottles here and they are, you know, they're cute for serving the sorrel. So I just put my funnel in and then I'll pour the sorrel inside. And you have other bottles that are sealable that you can get online too. Now I kind of like my sorrel on the sweeter side because when I'm serving it, I love to have it with a lot of ice. So I put a lot of ice in the glass and then pour it on and then, you know, as the ice melts, it just makes the sorrel perfect. But if the sorrel is too fresh already, then, you know, what's going to happen when you add ice? The sorrel is just really refreshing, guys. And... I don't love when it has too much alcohol because it just takes away from the nice flavor and I love to have it with my fruit cake. You guys should check out my fruit cake video. I will leave the links in the description to these cake recipes. So thanks so much for watching again guys. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe and share. See you next time. Happy holidays.